Hello everyone, welcome to a gameplay presentation of Hitman. My name is Travis, the community manager at IO Interactive working on Hitman, and I'll be your guide as we look at the showstopper level here in Paris. Hitman is a creative stealth action game where you perform contract hits on powerful, high profile targets all around the world. And today we're in Paris. Our target is Viktor Novikov. He is a very well-known fashion brand owner and a well-known oligarch. But in reality, he's actually the leader of a spy ring called Iago. Now, Viktor Novikov is a very well-protected man. Anywhere he goes, he brings all sorts of security with him. He's got a personal bodyguard who follows him around. He's got a local crew that he's hired, all sorts of security guards to keep tabs on everything that's happening at the fashion show. And here we are in Paris outside the Palais de Velevska. It's a huge environment for you to explore. Before each and every single mission in Hitman, you'll get a briefing from your long-term handler Diana and be able to choose exactly what you want to take into the level with you. You can choose a silenced pistol, a knife, or a fully loaded assault rifle and extra ammo. Maybe you want to take explosives, different poisons and lockpicks. The choice is entirely up to you. As you play through the game, depending on what you do and how you play, other items will become available to you in the loadout, so that each time you go into Paris, you can change the way that you play. The levels we've created are the biggest ever in a Hitman game. And with that comes the ambition to create locations that feel like they're part of a real world, and they act and they react as you would expect them to do. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real considerate. Just like that news crew there. Of course, they're not happy that you've walked straight in front of them, but you had other options. You could have waited, listened to what they had to say. That might have given you some information about your target Novikov. What he's doing, what he's saying, who he's meeting. So as a player, Hitman is very much about listening and exploring. The agency has arranged our formal but incognito invitation to the fashion show that takes place so we're free to walk around the public areas of the palace. By day, the palace is actually an art gallery, but tonight, as there's a special event going on, that means that there's special restrictions that apply. As with any large-scale event, there are logistics areas with delivery trucks, staff carrying crates and boxes in and out, but of course, those entrances are guarded to the public. Uh, sir, you can't go through here. Please turn around. So we can't go in that way wearing our suit, but we could hop over the fence and sneak around if we wanted to do that. You can also climb up drain pipes or go down into the basement. And in design terms, we imagine the palace like a Swiss cheese. It's full of holes for you to climb through and explore with no real dead ends wherever you choose to go. But as we've got an invitation here, we can just walk straight in through the front door. Enjoy the show. Hiya. Right there, coming down the stairs, that's our main target. That's Viktor Novikov, lapping in all the applause as he always does. Look, it's Novikov. Dash it. Congressman Walsh. A pleasure as always. Make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman. Urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn Novikov's bodyguard has just whispered something quite clearly upsetting into his ear. We'll let him get on with that. He's got lots of people to talk to, lots of things to take care of. That's a perfect excuse for us to show you some of the other areas you can explore and which can start to get you thinking about how you want to approach your assassination. 
We're obviously showing you one way through here, but you can go anywhere in the palace, listening to short stories and picking up information from everyone you see and everything you hear. Hello? Shit. Still no answer. What's going on up there? Oh my god, they, they know, they, they know, okay? They know what we're up to. They've caught Haley and we're not... In Hitman, we've got more death traps per square meter than ever before. And this gas lamp is just one okay, example. Let's take a look at a few more. You can see we've got the crowd system back for Hitman. On top of the crowd, we have over 300 fully simulated NPCs populating the entire level. They're all active at the same time, which means anything you do on one side of the level will have an impact on the other. You can trigger a fire alarm, for instance, that, and that will alert the entire building. As a comparison, in the last Hitman game, we had around 40 or 50 NPCs in the most densely populated checkpoints. So this is a massive increase, and any of those 300 characters are potential targets in Contracts mode, which is also back from Absolution. Our focus today is purely on Viktor Novikov, and it looks like he's backstage. Again, he's going about his business, and now it looks like he's arguing with the lead designer of the fashion show. I don't know how much you love the spotlight. Look, don't be an asshole, Sebastian. Whether you like it or not, you are the star of this show, and you will act the part. Oh, no, no, I am not going up there. This line is a travesty. You made me into a sellout, Victor. I can't face these people, and you, you can't make me. I'm not allowed in the backstage area in my regular outfit, so we'll need a good disguise. This stylist outfit is perfect. Obviously, as you have complete freedom of approach, there are numerous ways to take out this stylist. No matter what approach you choose, we always recommend that you hide the body so as not to alert the guards. Now that I'm disguised as a stylist, I have access to different parts of the building. Again, I'm relatively free to walk around this area unless I do something illegal or happen to get spotted by someone who might be able to see through my disguise. There's a lot happening here. Sato is clearly stressed out and you can definitely use that to your advantage. It's a perfect example to show some of the fun you can have with the game, how you can get under some of the character's skin, and figure out different not, ways of how the level will play based on what you do. Hands off the diorama. I made it. Hello there. Okay, glass half empty yes, here. Yes. I can tell I the you can create your own rules and decide exactly what you want to do. Whenever you're patient and creative, that's typically when you'll get rewarded with these special moments. Novikov is right here, making a phone call, but he's with his bodyguard, so we can't get to him easily. We did notice a helicopter out in the back garden that we want to get a better look at. So let's find a way out there, and we'll see where that takes us. and still they frisk me. It's like, hello, don't you recognize me? Christ, I mean, they're really parents. What the hell is that? Yeah, yeah, I guess we should cut off some slack. This little building on your left can be used to stash a weapon during your planning before starting the mission. Right there. You can then pick it up at any time during the mission, and that adds an extra layer to the options that you have. Instinct is back for Hitman, but it's truly optional. It will highlight useful elements and can be turned off entirely if that's your style. We're going to skip ahead a little in the interest of time, up to that balcony. Everywhere on the palace grounds that you can see here, you can explore.
but exactly how we got up to the first floor and got this new waiter disguise will stay a secret. However, there's still plenty to show you in this playthrough. There's an entirely different atmosphere on this floor, with the staff preparing food, packing it into crates and moving them up and down the stairs. And that's a great way for us to move weapons and items up the stairs. You just need to hide a weapon there and the waiters will carry it up for you. Hi. Hi. Hey there. Sorry, we can't let anyone through without doing a security check first. It's just standard procedure, we're all friends. The guards at the stairs aren't familiar with you though, so they're going to frisk you. As long as you don't carry weapons or anything suspicious, Green you'll light. be okay. Go ahead, sir. Up on the second floor, there's plenty going on. There's private quarters for the people that live in the palace during the daytime, different corridors and rooms, different people on the phone, conversations going on, guards patrolling, and there's even an additional target you'll need to take out during a secret auction going on in a lavishly decorated room. And a quick look at 47 hiding the gun behind his back to keep it hidden from the guards. Let's talk a little bit about disguises. Right now we're dressed as a waiter and going into an area that we're not allowed to be in. So we'll need to stay hidden from the guards. Disguises are very, very powerful and let you get into different areas, but they're not a completely free pass. As we've mentioned before, there are some characters, like the head of security and Novikov's bodyguard, that will be able to see through your disguise no matter what it is. There are others that will be able to see through individual disguises, and we're calling these characters Enforcers. They've got triangles above their head, so let's take this guy out and show you a bit more about how that actually works. The yellow indicator on the guard in the background appears because you're near a dead body and in a crime scene. If you get spotted there, NPCs will be suspicious of you. As we move out of that crime scene, that yellow arrow has become white and means he'll see through your disguise, so we still need to avoid him. Whenever you change disguise, the enforcers for that disguise will also change. You'll always need to be on the lookout for enforcers if you want to make the most of your disguise. Up in this attic, there are all sorts of possibilities to create some nasty surprises for our target. Today, we don't want to spoil too much of the setup, so let's just say that if you can figure it out, you can make the huge light rig above the fashion show drop on Novikov as he takes the stage. Maybe by himself, maybe not. It's a lot of fun trying to figure these situations out, making a plan, manipulating and playing with the AI in any way that you like. That's what Hitman is all about. We'll be showing you much more before the game is out. Thank you very much.